Today we're going to be talking about affordable real estate investing coaching and how to find the right coach for you. Did you know that there are actually two ways to get affordable coaching and one of those ways even pays you while you're learning? In this industry, the creative real estate investing industry, the most affordable coaching programs are almost like paid internships where a person can get paid for learning and being instructed and going out and figuring out how to find deals and how to make money. Remember this, in this industry, the person who can find the deal and get it contracted is the person in the driver's seat. And that's where we all started. So when you're beginning in this business with no money, you need to know how to find great deals and how to paper them up with a contract, a pen and some paper and a signatures. The person who can get that done is in the driver's seat and controls the whole industry. Once upon a time, a student approached me and wanted me to teach them how to buy houses in my local market. I really wasn't excited about that and I kind of given up on coaching people in the local area anyways for a lot of different reasons. But this guy was very persistent. He was about 25 years old. His name was Mike Powell. What got me was this guy was a house finding magnet. He would wake up in the morning with houses stuck to the side of his face. This guy was a deal magnet, no doubt about it. And he kept bringing deal after deal after deal. And he had it all contracted up. He had 30 days to close. He had dotted all his I's and crossed all his T's. And he was just standing in front of me every day going, Mitch, I have this contract. I don't have the money to buy it. Why don't you partner with me? I'd say to him, I don't really want any more partners. And he'd say, look at the numbers on these contract. We're going to make a lot of money on this house. And I would look at the contract and I'd agree with him. And I became his partner one at a time until I looked up one day and I was in partners with him on 33 houses. And that was the day I decided to make Mike Powell my partner. Today we've done over 400 houses together and he's an intricate piece of what makes this machine that we have run. I'm responsible for making sure he never has to find money to fund anything and he's responsible for finding all the deals and bringing them into the office and getting our central administrator in a position to close them. That's how you stay in control in this business. And that's how you learn is you find someone to teach you how to write contracts. And hopefully this person is a seasoned investor. And then when you get good at what he's teaching you, you can go to any investor in town and offer to partner with them with your contracts. I would start with the guy that, that coached you first, but if he's not interested, then move on to the next mover and shaker in town and ask him, would you like to partner with me on this particular property and show them your contract, explain to them how much money is to be made in this contract. And all they have to do is bring the money. And this is how you can get paid to learn. So there's two ways to do it. You can work for free for someone and just hand them over your deals until you become so proficient that you no longer need to hand them over for free anymore. I don't know a lot of people that wouldn't take you up on that or you can simply team up with an investor as a bird dog or a house finder or, you know, an acquisitions manager, you know, it's all the same thing, but the title gets a little more sophisticated as we go up the list. So if you want to be an acquisition manager for someone, it's hard for them to say no because you're not asking them to pay you anything. You're just asking for them to be partners with you when you find a decent house or a great deal or you could wholesale your properties to them. Either way, you're going to be papering up properties and holding them for ransom. And that's the one thing I want to talk about here in this episode is when you have a great deal, you can hold that deal as ransom to any investor that you want out there. You can say, if you'll partner with me, you can have half of this deal. And then you hold up your deal and explain to them the kind of money that can be made. So you'll be holding your deals as a ransom. And if, you know, the first one or two or three people just want to buy your property wholesale for a pittance, you just keep holding on to your contract till someone wants to split with you or wants to share with you. 
If you have great deals, you shouldn't be waiting around too long. So what's a fair split? You know, I think that if you're tapping into someone else's infrastructure or someone else's long-term business where they have an office and a secretary and all the copier machines and all the phone lines and all that, I think a 60-40 split is really good. That would be 40% your side and 60% to the pro with the overhead. That's really like 50-50 if you think about it. You see, you got the pro over here and he's got the office and he's got the overhead and he's making 60% and you're over here out of your car or your truck or out of your house and you're making 40%. Again, that's kind of like 50-50 because 20% of this man's money over here, the pro is going to go to the overhead. So he's making 40% as well after he pays the bills. So it ends up being more like a 50-50 split at the end of the day. You're making 40, he's making 40, and each one of you are putting in 10% for the overhead, about 20% worth of overhead. There's also a very interesting way that you can pay for your education that might be a little less painful than the traditional way of paying for it. But before we get to that, I would like to bring your attention to that like button and that share button. And would you please strike both of those buttons and let the world know that we're out there and that we're doing a good job. It would mean the world to us. Also, if you haven't already, you're gonna want to subscribe, obviously. So hit the subscribe button because there is so much more content where this is coming from. Did you know that it's possible to borrow from your tax deferred retirement plan or your IRA, for example, to pay for your education? It's absolutely true. You can borrow up to 50% of what's in your retirement account with a maximum of $50,000. Let me say that again. You can borrow 50% of what you have in your retirement plan up to $50,000 max. So if you have an educational course or a mastermind or a mentor that you would like to fund and you just don't have the money in your pocket or it's not the right time to take this money out of your personal savings, maybe you turn your eye just a little bit towards your retirement plans and see how healthy they are. If they're really, really healthy, maybe it won't hurt for you to withdraw some money out. Now here's the kicker. You have to pay yourself back and you have to pay yourself back within five years max. So whether you decide to pay yourself back for five years or three years, you have to create an amortization schedule of monthly equal payments for however long you want to do it, maximum five years, and then start making those payments back to your own retirement plan. And what can you charge yourself as interest or how much can you charge yourself or how little can you charge yourself? Well, it's not specifically stated anywhere, but the case law seems to be you could charge yourself as little as prime plus two, which today would be around 4%. The maximum you should be able to charge yourself is like prime plus 10. So maybe 12% max. So somewhere between that. You're taking that out of one pocket and then you're putting it back with interest from yourself, but you're putting it back into your retirement plan. So you need to decide if you want to get more money in your retirement plan, then you would charge yourself 12% interest. And if you want to just be frugal and just get this thing in and out and over with and get your education at the least out of a pocket expense as you can, then charge yourself 4%. But it's pretty neat to know. And I think it's one of the best investments in the world is to invest in yourself and in your education. So remember that when next time you're sure that you've got a coach or a mentor or someone that can help you and you just don't know where to get the funds, check out your retirement funds and see if there's an option over there. In my humble opinion, there is no better use of money than to invest in yourself and your education. Look at it like this. You find your retirement plan, you withdraw five, six, seven, eight, ten thousand dollars $10,000, whatever it takes to get that right coach or mentor for you. And then that coach and mentor teaches you how to make tens of thousands of dollars, if not millions of dollars in your future. What's wrong with that? You borrowed some money, you paid yourself back, and you got an education in the process. It's a beautiful thing. The first seminar I ever attended cost me $3,000. I borrowed that money from my retirement plan. I went to that seminar and I came back loaded with information and I knew exactly what I was gonna do. And within a very short period of time, 
I put tens of thousands of dollars into my bank account and into my IRA accounts. And it was all from what I learned. If I had not have borrowed that money from my retirement plan, I couldn't have gone because I didn't have two nickels to rub together. And this is why I like this angle and I like to present it is because most people will never even know that this option is available to them. And so I like to bring this up. Now I'd like to give to you the first 31 pages of my book, My Life in a Thousand Houses, 200 plus ways to find bargain properties. And in this first 31 pages, it's so critical that you listen to it because it shows you how to position yourself in branding so that you never have to backtrack and start over again. I had to start over many times before I got it right. And I wasted a lot of time and a lot of goodwill. There's pieces out there probably still today floating around that have the wrong phone numbers and the wrong email addresses that I'll never use again because I didn't get it straight from the beginning. I promise you, if you read this first 31 pages, you're going to understand completely what I'm talking about. It's going to make perfect sense. It's not complicated. And I'm going to show you how to get everything in line from your phone numbers to your email addresses, to your web page names, to your letterhead, to what's on your card. I'll show you how to get it all in a line so that it's all pulling in one direction forever. So check it out. Just go to 1000houses.com forward slash free stuff and click on the words that say first 31 pages free.